2024's American presidential debate will be held in Philadelphia, I learn. And Philadelphia, I also learned, is considered the Athens of the Western world or America. This is where the New World is centering democracy. So this is apropos, and let's look into democracy, the democratic process, and also some notable Philadelphians. I'll start with Philly's OG bad boy. This is the father of democracy, Benjamin Franklin, all about the Benjamins. Turns out in his narrative that he was a rebel and a fugitive who fled to Philadelphia, a new city for a new start. Becoming a media mogul. So he had newspapers and he adopted this pseudonym, Silence Do Good, and it was a way to troll. He also had a, like, I don't know, an alter ego, which was a middle aged widow, and he hid behind this alter ego so that he could be an agent provocateur. Ben would get the streets buzzing and talking. He could really stir the pots. And he formed the Junto, which was a group of like-minded aspiring artisans and tradesmen modeled after the English coffee houses. And this was at the center of the spread of enlightenment ideas to the illuminated ones. So this media empire gave Benjamin Franklin the perfect forum for agitation as he wanted to transform America. Ben became famous and he was like a guru who taught how to win respectability and gain social capital by carefully cultivating your PR image through media spin which basically looks like virtue signaling or doing good for photo ops and charity and philanthropy. However, Ben had what they call moral lapses and he enjoyed excess decadent living and mischief, lots of fun. And I think they are crediting him with creating Mischief Night that night before Halloween. These narratives get really complicated because they are stating that Benjamin Franklin was really technically the first president because he headed the Continental Congress, which, you know, created the Constitution. So George Washington wasn't technically the first president anyway, because there were like 14 or so, correct me, 12 to 14 presidents before this current constitution. So it gets really complicated. Now, Ben's tea gets really hot and weird in the narrative here because it says that Benjamin Franklin was a member of a club called the Hellfire Club. And this club encouraged men to be debauched and decadent and degenerate. And they would get together and meet in caves, okay? <laughs> so it sounds like some Epstein. I told you he was the original Diddy, remember? And and he, okay, check this out. They found bodies buried on his properties. He had several elegant homes. And yeah, he had bodies, maybe possibly more than Diddy and Hillary. There is so much that can be covered in the Benjamin Franklin thing, and maybe I'll do a whole thing on him. Just let me know if you're interested. But Ben did ponder as the Constitution was being written, he questioned, was the sun rising or setting on American democracy. What's interesting is in Philadelphia, there is a boulevard called Rising Sun. Tell me what you think about that in the comment section, especially if you're good at decoding. Philadelphia's next Benjamin would be Benjamin Netanyahu, graduated from a Philadelphia suburban school, Sheltonham High, and he was part of the debate team and the soccer team and went on to do some pretty big things, right? 
like head up the nation of Israel. And I will just keep it right there. I'll just park that right there. Keep it demure. Oh, the irony. The politics of Philadelphia. Boy, what a doozy. Next up, the first black mayor of Philadelphia, Wilson Good, whose legacy is pretty tarnished because he dropped a bomb on a black neighborhood and he targeted a group by the name of Move. And this happened in 1985. So yes, he is a the first black mayor of Philadelphia, and he bombed a black neighborhood. Now, I want to briefly talk about the group that is now being exposed and talked about so much lately, the Black Boule. Now, they were created in Philadelphia. This is where it was founded. And the Black Boule is also called the Black Skull and Bones. It is a network or group of various secret societies, sororities, fraternities, lodges. And they also have a children's auxiliary group that feeds into this system that's called Jack and Jill. That was also founded in Philadelphia for this black elite. I want to wrap up this upload with a Philadelphian by the name of Lawrence Otis Graham. Now, Lawrence would be what you would call a black boule insider. Now, he was a an attorney, and he wrote a book called Our Kind of People, and he chronicled and documented the elite segment of black society better than anyone. So he would be the black boule whisperer. So I'm going to end it with Lawrence Otis Graham, and he did pass away in 2021, but I want to talk more about the Black Boule in another upload. I want to talk about the Philadelphians that have contributed to the Black Boule entertainment and arts.